So, oh yeah, the, the, the level is a procedurally generated one. It's like super basic. There's no, there's nothing really. It's just like boxes and, and, and hallways and whatnot. So this is our interrupt um, cone, I'll call it. And so if he goes through here, I will interrupt him uh, as long as I have enough action points to fire the weapon. And the interrupts, um, it's not like an overwatch i don't fire automatically at anyone that crosses there i go to this point of view and i choose how to fire uh, but you can only fire you cannot do anything else other than fire on the on the uh, interrupt you can also skip the, the the turn right yeah you can just skip yeah you can just skip it if you don't want to do anything um and the blue cone means that the interrupt it's like ready the interrupt and if you have like a yellow cone the interrupt is not ready and that's because his weapon is lowered so if I pick up my weapon here, now it's blue, and uh, your weapon you lose weapon ready when you sprint, or uh, when you prone or stuff like that. So I think he's going like is he has someone going through here, and probably someone looking over over this angle right here, and uh, oh, oh. There you go, see. <laughs> <laughs> so actually these. These ghosts here are the last seen position of the characters, so they'll stay there until I clear that position, and then they go away. Oh, Another interrupt. <laughs> these, so these this is a good one. So are. let's see. Yes. Yeah, this... <laughs> it's okay. This uh, red uh, red arrow here means that if I go to this position, I will be able to see uh, that character. So I was like checking where can I see her from here. So only like like there, but it's gonna be like a super tight shot. So that's no good. Uh, it's also good that she can't see me though. So I think the impact cone should be a lot bigger. You mean wider? Yes. So if you, if you mean the, the the like the the angle. So that was a grenade. And it, a very like, failed one. Yeah, like <laughs> hit there or something. Yeah. So the, currently, again, uh, we just changed our mechanics uh, today. Uh, well, last couple of days actually and it's fixed right now but it's gonna again depend on your weapon it's gonna depend on on your attachments that you have on the weapon so if you have a beefy scope it's gonna be like super narrow but it might go like super far because it also has a distance uh let's see here so actually it's a bad example but no this is not good I mean, uh, no can't really see with the positions that i have but they have a, a ma uh, max distance as well and uh they all also depend on the weapon and, and, and scopes and all that. But so right now it's just it's fixed. It's like 50 degrees uh, total. Uh, but you can see more than that. Just to be clear, like this is not your uh, vision radius. You see 180 degrees. Oh, shit. oh that was right. <laughs> right on the <their> ribs. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> I forgot. So, by the way, what uh, Ecker was saying like um, a few turns ago, he was strafing. So, if you press shift, you can see, oh, uh, yeah, that little nub at the end of my cursor there, that means where I'm going to be pointing when I finish walking, right? And if I click shift, it's going to stay looking at the same, it's always going to be looking towards that direction throughout the whole. Uh, movement uh, you know it's useful to like say if I want to clear this room if I go this way it's not going to be able to see anything in there right but if I strafe I'm going to be able to so I'll keep the uh, interrupt cone toggle here and you can kind of see like I'm clearing the room I would say what I'm trying to do but then you know they can like <laughs> so I'm trying I to will. cover like I'm I'm gonna try and get him get this guy here through this way. Oh, I already know what. <laughs> it's fine. So uh, limb damage. So the, the Scarlet now has a a pretty badly hurt. Uh, what is that? Right arm. Yeah, right arm. And she needs to be healed. She's super super low. Um, and that I can, I can't show it because I can't go into. There's not enough points to go into the aim mode. But um, her aim is going to be wider than it was before because of that arm damage. How many characters being controlled by 
play it. So I'm controlling these four. Uh, uh, these four that are here that have the the names above them and Ecker is controlling the other four which i can only see one of them right now uh, the other this is their last known location so it's four versus four so we do our characters do go down before they die uh she can be healed but she's going to be bleeding now and uh so i only have a couple of turns until i can save her um there you go so she just bled like four so she's like 16 out of 20 so in uh what is the Four more turns, she's gonna be dead. Usually I can move with her, but I don't have any AP and she regenerates AP super slow because she has like super low stamina from getting shot. Oh, that's actually bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, <laughs> the 99% miss. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, uh, yes. Yes, so it, it wasn't like covering the whole thing. And, and, and I couldn't aim directly to, to the head. I, I had to aim slightly to the left because of the the wall there yeah otherwise the the the, the again was clipping, clipping the wall yeah yeah, yeah. yeah clipping the wall it didn't allow the sh to, to, to take the shot well it sucks should have gone for the torso yeah <laughs> that's definitely true <laughs> although i did lose quite a fair bit of action points because of being suppressed for being shot so close so suppression actually i'll, I'll explain it as well uh Suppression basically means that the shot was pretty close to you, but um, didn't actually hit you. But so what what it does is it lowers your action points. Stay there. Okay, cool. So now, you know, I could go for the head and 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 that, but I'm not gonna make the same mistake he did, and we're gonna go for the guaranteed oh. shot. Oh yeah, pistol. Oh yes, uh, so Indigo actually has a pistol. So yeah, I was going to show the inventory. So this is our current inventory. We're still going to... We still have to figure out what we're going to do regarding to the inventory here, but... Um, so she has uh, two guns and you can actually change... You can change weapon. Uh, changing weapon itself doesn't cost any points, but you do lose your ready status if you decide to use your so you can kind of see that she has the pistol down but this one remains ready so you can kind of like uh test out if you if the pistol is a good idea before you commit to it um uh but yeah as i was saying yeah i could i could go ahead and have shot her with the pistol um and eventually the pistol is going to have a much wider interrupt cone than the sniper which is going to have a super short uh, super narrow cone uh but you cannot change weapons while in interrupt so you do have to decide what you want to do if you want to have a wider um, cone, but you know, less damage or go ahead and uh, have the, the extra damage, but no dupes though. Yes, you cannot select the same character twice. You have to select uh, different characters and each of them, one of them has different stats. So as you can see here, I'll quickly show it. They have different uh, attributes like constitution, strength, agility, marksmanship, Tech, uh, which like um, is like medikits and grenades and other utilities, and then wisdom, which uh, is for um, perception, uh, hearing radius, and whatnot, stuff like that. Mental resistance. Yeah, mental resistance as well, and uh, resist uh, suppression as well. A lot of things for each stat, but. So grenades are a bit of a skill skill thing because you you cannot see. You can't see where it's going. You, you kind of like have to try and not overshoot it. See, perfect. Look at that. No oh, man. Look at that. That was one grenade. Can you sneak and crouch at the same time? No. Uh, although crouching has the same properties as sneaking. Uh, so as in they make they don't make noise. Although. Crouch costs more action points per movement for the same amount of movement than sneaking because you're standing up, so you know, and while crouching, you're actually protecting yourself as well, so it costs a bit more. Uh, but they have the exact same properties. Oh, yeah, one other thing that we haven't talked about yet so the camera is like completely free, you're you can like move, like it's not snap to 90 degrees, like a lot of. Uh, a lot of these games are you can just move it freely and you can zoom in and get a more uh, 
immersive view of uh, someone's bottom. <laughs> Oh yeah, now the one thing, the, this icon over here, which is also you know temporary kind of thing, but uh, that means there's loot in there, and uh, so I can loot her now. Like she, if she has a grenade or ammo or stuff like that, I could go in and uh, and get that for my characters. So oh. and, and Fang takes shots like a madman. Look at that. So <laughs> Fang actually has heavy armor here. Uh, that's why he's taking like so little Devin damage even though there's like blood everywhere he's like covered in blood on his back and on the wall but he took surprisingly little damage for all that he did lose a ton of AP though look at that minus five so you're actually that's another thing your AP can go negative uh, and next turn you know you start to that handicap if you do regenerate say 10 HP 10 AP even um, you only get five and that's exactly what I regenerated here how much time allowed per turn? Uh, so we don't have a limit right now, although you can set a limit. Uh, usually in games like these online, you can do like 99 seconds per uh, per turn. That's usually the standard or 60. Although for four characters, yeah, for four characters, I think I think 60 seconds is enough to do a play. Yeah, so oh, actually I'm bleeding. So you can see here, like my torso is super damaged as it's obvious because <laughs> he's like, you know, full of blood. And I'm bleeding, there's like this little icon here. I'm bleeding. So I could heal myself. Um, or I can... Uh, cause, but if I heal myself, I'm going to be like stuck here. So I'm just going to get shot again anyway. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to stand and... Uh, and get out of dodge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get shot from this guy though. So Fang is in a real bad spot. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. And oh, this is actually another cool thing. So say he didn't, didn't actually see me. He didn't actually see where I ran if I had more action points. If I had more action points, I could maybe have jumped this window or I could have walked throughout this uh, through this door. But because I'm sprinting, I'm actually leaving like a blood trail. So you go in here, he, he doesn't see this blood trail yet. Well, he might see because he has a guy. Well, there, I can but... see I can see it because my Yeah, but because you have actually... a guy in the corner here. But if you didn't have yeah. a guy in the corner, you would not be you would not see this blood trail until he gets into this doorway and actually sees the blood trail. So and then he just follows the blood trail, right? And this is gonna work in um against AI as well. Like if AI, AI runs away, like he's cowering and he just runs out. Uh, and if he's bleeding, you can follow just follow the blood really. Uh, if I heal myself, the bleeding stops and I stop, uh, you know, bleeding all over the floor. All right, so, let's see here. Uh, will the characters fall into classes, walls? Yeah, so uh, our games, uh, our game, our game does not have classes per se. Like, none of these are specced into any class. Although they do have different uh, attributes and, you know, some characters are better for healing. Like I just said, like, if you have a high-tech character, he's good for healing. And if you have a high marksmanship character like Indigo here, like Indigo here, uh, she has like 15 marksmanship, that's gonna like decrease your aiming there, uh, your aiming circle there. So, you know, they kind of fall into roles, uh, but they don't have a defined class. With AI, it even works like this. If you go alone with just one guy and you have no backup, if you get in a bad situation, you are screwed royally. Because you, you really can't escape this. Like, what I'm going to do now? I'm surrounded by three of them. So, I'm not sure if this guy's down, though. Might have to see. Might have to turn back and, and look. To see. And Faggy's down. Yeah, so the Indigo here has uh, M2898. That's the sniper. 1911. That's the pistol. Steam pack, which I also have. And two magazines. We're good. So, we don't need, we don't need anything of that. Uh, but the, the gameplay itself is, is essentially the same as you would play against AI in the story mode. The only difference being that stealth is not as much a factor here as it is in uh, against AI. Since I can, in against AI, I can just instant kill them if I stealth them from behind over here. That doesn't work because it would be kind of overpowered. Um, and the levels with AI are not like this. They're just like they're, they're designed levels, uh, you know, all uh, alleys and um, roads and whatnot instead of just random rooms like this Ooh. oh so oh, 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 so close look at that oh so piercing you just saw here so the shot actually pierced 
uh, this wall and it went through that and hit this one. So as yeah, I was as I've talked about before, like cover is not really you know foolproof. Strength is pretty good for grenades, and she has ten strength. So her grenade goes from here to this window here. That's super bad. Uh, Fang I can throw probably about you know twice that distance, but Fang is uh you know in a pool of his own blood right there. <laughs> he's not responding. Yeah, he's not responding. <laughs> So I can try to make the shot again, or try to to leave the cone. Uh, but I will try the shot again. <laughs> Why not? I mean, oh, oh, suppressed. So that that took some action points out of me. Uh, I had what nine, I think, maybe eight. So that was one or two AP that I lost. Because that weapon. Oh yeah. So the the amount of action points that I lose depends on the weapon. So if you get like shot. Suppressed with a shotgun, it's going to be much worse than with like a pistol or even an assault rifle. Uh, but like, basically, the the more damage the shot would do, the more you are uh, suppressed. But it, there's also a, the the weapon factors into it because it, like if it makes a lot of noise or something like that, it will be more threatening and thus increases the. Uh, All right, let's do an aim shot on that guy. So let's cover him like that. Oh, that should be good. Diet. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. So you can actually change shoulders because sometimes like it's, this is not like the best view to get this shot. So you just go above her head or on the other shoulder. Uh, all right. Let's. Uh, I mean, she can still miss. This is not a guaranteed shot, but. Oh my god. Oh. Right below his ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, actually pierced the, pierced, the, the. Yeah, wall. you pierced the ball. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It was... Oh my god. So right now I have two options. I can either do a name shot, a normal shot, or I can do a full auto. And full auto, as you can see, you know, not great. But, I mean, what the heck, why not? So he still hit a couple shots there. Oh, he has 3 HP. Hopefully he's bleeding, so he might die. Will he be a special weapon? Something that when used is bound to do damage either to enemies or even the map. Like boom, that room. There are explosives, yes. You can breach walls, not in this mode, uh, but there are explosives that you know you can blow a hole through the wall, and they'll damage you uh, if you are on the other side. There's also grenades, but those don't don't explode walls or anything like that. So Indigo has damage on her head, and what that does is reduces the perception. So she's gonna have a lower hearing radius. So if someone like runs over here, I might not hear because I have. My head is concussed, and it's all, there's also a small damage, a uh, small uh, decrease in the marksmanship skill, which basically means your aiming rate is going to be higher. Uh, so, yeah, this is a good shot. Actually, I'm going to shoot with the pistol because it's it's less expensive. So as you can see here on the corner there, in the corner of the screen, it says seven points. So shooting this is going to cost me seven points. Or I can switch to the pistol, and that's gonna cost me four points. And he's done. And that's okay. I'll just stay like this and cover that area. It's good. Four points because it included uh, making the weapon. Yeah, so the pistol actually costs two points, but I had to ready the weapon before firing, so that was an extra two points. Um, which leaves us with four, so points. Shot was four points. Yeah. So now, actually, if I wanted, I do have seven points, but I cannot fire the sniper now because it's seven plus two. Because I need to ready the weapon since it's not ready. So I'll just leave with my already ready weapon. Uh, and so if I interrupt, it's only going to cost me two points to fire. So I could actually kill him, but there's no point in doing that. And this pistol is not going to pierce that wall for sure. So no point in trying to actually shoot him. If I had the sniper ready, I could shoot through the wall and, and kill him. Well, maybe not kill him because it's going to be... Uh, the damage is going to be lowered because it, it, it went through a wall, but... You know. Yeah, yeah, my girl. Uh, given it's 4 on 4 mode, if a team becomes too unbalanced, handicap versus 4 will again feature hope spot. That one still has at least a fighting chest. Yes! Um, there's some surprising turnarounds that you can do uh, if you just, you know, 
you don't rush. So right now, like you know, I have a character. This character here is like was really stupid to leave her, leave her like here in the middle here. But if you play smart, uh, you can come back. But you can actually go in and like pick it, keep picking up items from your dead enemies and and, and dead teammates like grenades and and med kits and stuff like that. And you can still hold on quite a bit. Oh, someone in the Discord asked if there's blood in the game. I mean, you know, yes, there is a lot of blood in the game. I'm not sure if uh, whoever asked is in the chat, but let's see. I'm gonna try and gather information with Altani. Ah, oh, see, look at that, down but still useful. I sh I should be blocking with my Alta, right. <laughs> the blocking mind game. All right, let's try something here. Did it pierce? Oh, oh it did. Close. But yeah, it, it, it but missed. It didn't, it didn't hit. Yeah, it didn't hit. Oh, you can see the bullet hole there. Can I go through the wall? Oh, I can't. He's, he's like blocking me. Can I? Just a little bit more? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Just get out of the doorway. <laughs> no, Altain is doing his job. Yeah, he's doing his job. Not very good, though. All right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe if I like this. And then, like that. <laughs> oh no, so close. Wait, 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 maybe? Yes, there we go. That's that's good, that's good enough. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. All right, so, will it hit? There's a good chance that it will. Oh, oh right in the head. It even pierced their head. And we'll just put you out of your misery here. That's it. Again, thank you for joining us and uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. <laughs>